Welcome back to 100 Days of Logic with 90 Second Philosophy and Carnegie. So, or today we're going to be continuing with categorical logic and categorical syllogisms, looking at Bool Part 3. This is going to be our last video on Boolean Venn diagrams. These are going to be some tips and tricks. So, our first trick is you should never see X's in any of these places. If you see an X in one of these places on a vertice where two Venn diagram spots cross or somewhere overlapping with the outside, you've done something wrong. You should never have an X in any of these places. Trick number Two, if you're having trouble visualizing where things should go, try going back a step and drawing just the basic Venn diagrams with two circles and then mapping those onto where they should go for the bigger three-part Venn diagram. Trick number three, always remember to draw in the universal premises. First, I've said this before, but it's important because sometimes you may end up with a situation where you try to put the X in somewhere, the particular premise in somewhere, and then later find out that the universal premise doesn't allow that. Finally, trick number four. If it can go on a line, it should go on a line. If you look at these three possible diagrams and you look at figure two, E-O-I, it should be clear which one of these diagrams is correct. Though it may seem that any of them are possible, or one or two is possible, number three, the third one where the X on the line is the only correct answer. Because even though the X could go in the middle, it could also go on the side with just S. So the only possible place that it should go to correctly represent this is on the line between S and P. That was some tips and tricks for Boolean Venn diagrams. Next up, we're going to be looking at Aristotelian Venn diagrams and looking back at the existential fallacy. And we'll do some problems and get some answers. Watch a new video every single day for 100 days here at Carnadius.org. And stay skeptical, everybody.